Hello everybody, this is Donna Lewis again with the Clark County Park District and today I'm going to read you a book from out the outdoors and you can see behind me all of the bluebells here. Um, they have come up at the Davidson Interpretive Center so I wanted to read the book I'm reading today in front of these beautiful flowers that have let us know that spring is here but unfortunately tonight some snow is coming so I, I hope these guys survive. So the book today is The Secret Life of the Skunk. So it talks all about the habits and natural history of the skunk. It's a super cute, good book. Um, and it's uh, realistic this time. So it tells you the true stuff about the skunk from Lawrence Pringle, illustrated by Kate Garchinsky. The sun's a little bit in my eyes, so my eyes are probably gonna disappear through this whole story warm so warm five baby skunks snuggle in the fur of their mother's belly so there's the little skunks snuggled up with mom before they were born their mother made a cozy bed of soft leaves and grasses for them in a secret underground burrow but the early march air is chilly the newborn kits have very little fur on their bodies. They cuddle close to their mom. They are all striped skunks, the skunk species that lives in much of North America, where we live. For a few weeks, their eyes do not open, but the kids can taste, feel, and smell. They taste their mother's rich milk as they nurse. They feel their leafy bed and their mother's fur. They smell their den's earthy odors and their mom's sweet, musky scent. So her scent probably smells good to them. So there's the babies with mom. At night, the mother leaves the den to hunt for food. She prowls and scurries through fields and forests and backyards. She sniffs and digs. She gobbles down some earthworms, an apple that fell from a tree last fall, a mouse, and seeds spilled under a bird feeder. Skunks are omnivores. They eat both plant and animal food. The kid's father is not around. Male skunks do not help females raise their young. The kid's mother hurries home to nurse her kids. So there she is foraging for food. And so she'll eat berries and nuts and insects, mice, all kinds of things. And your cat's cat food if it's left outside. As weeks pass, the kids thrive. They grow fur, grow bigger, and grow playful. They romp and wrestle in their secret den. So there they are playing in their den together. It's probably really stinky, huh? Because sometimes they probably end up spraying accidentally. Their home is dark, but light glimmers down the tunnel that leads up to the den's entrance. Bird songs waft down into the burrow. And hopefully you guys can hear the birds singing around me. The kits wonder about the world up there, outside. Sometimes the kit starts to climb out. Mom grabs it by the loose skin on the back of its neck and carries it back to the nest. The kits stay in the den, still nurtured by their mother's milk. So there's always one that wants to wander, and sometimes that's why people find them. But Mom got this one before it got out. She's like, nope, it's not time yet. So you can see she's getting this one back. When the kids are about five weeks old, they venture out at night. Mom's away hunting, so the kids explore and play. If they hear a strange animal approaching, they rush into the burrow. If they hear the familiar sound of their mother's soft paws coming near, they greet her. They sniff at the face and fur they know so well. So sometimes the kids will be out playing when they're about five weeks old or more, while mom's out looking for food for everybody. So that might be what you see when you see a little baby skunk out. One night in early June, the mother leads the kids away from their burrow into a rocky stream. For the first time, the kids hear the music of flowing water. It tinkles, sprinkles, or splashes and splashes. It gurgles, burbles, and babbles. At the end of quiet pool, the whole family drinks. Skunks see very well close up, but not far away. The kids don't notice stars twinkling in the sky. They do, however, have keen senses of hearing and smell. Up close on the ground, there is so much for the kids to discover and to eat. In a field, their mother catches crickets. 
In a lawn, she digs up beetle grubs or larvae. Yummy. The kids eat and begin to learn how to find their own food. So they're starting to get out. They have their first experience at a stream. <clears throat> and they're starting to get out and find food on their own. Each summer night, the skunk family leads a secret life. In the dark, they are almost never seen. And each summer night, the kids eagerly learn more. As they move along, mom always leads the way with her kits just behind, skunks on parade. Each black and white kit has a different stripe pattern. Sometimes they are so close together that the skunk family looks like one big black and white creature flowing along the ground. And I apologize for my sniffles and coughs right now, but Ohio weather is causing me allergies. So you see these guys walking around look like one big animal one big creature and there's a, a couple deer close by and they're all patterned a little differently so every baby skunk looks a little bit different the skunks especially like rainy nights digging is easy in the wet soil also on some nights they find treasures like a compost pile full of vegetable and fruit scraps plus squirmy earthworms the kids squabble over tasty bits the night air is filled with skunk voices. They squeak and squeal, chur and twitter. So there they are on a rainy night, easily digging in the soft ground. It's neat to see them out burrowing in the ground when they're babies. Ambling along on a warm June night, the skunk family is startled by loud barking. A dog rushes towards them, then stops. The kits huddle by their mother. She faces the dog, raises her bushy tail, and stomps her front feet. She hisses and clicks her teeth. These are warning signals, but the dog growls and steps closer. Our goofy dogs just don't know any better, do they? What do you think is going to happen next? She's trying to warn him to stay away, so she stomps and lifts her tail and growls. Hisses and clicks her teeth. You think the dog gets it? Quickly, the mother skunk arches her hind end towards the dog, raises her tail, and sprays a powerful dose of musk from her rear scent glands. She aims well. The dog yelps and runs away. Nope, the dog doesn't know any better. He keeps coming, and then he gets sprayed. So the mama skunk is only going to spray if she has to, but she's going to defend her young. So now he is going to feel the burn <laughs> from getting sprayed, and now his owners will have to clean him off. The mother skunk defended her family well. Her kids have grown enough so they too are armed with strong smelling spray. They seldom use it. Most big predators are simply warned away. It's midsummer and the skunks leave their secret den and find safe places to sleep above ground. The kids have been weaned. They no longer nurse milk. Sometimes one young skunk or two or three together may go looking for food without their mother. They are becoming independent. So they're starting to leave mom a little bit. They're not drinking her milk anymore. So her milk's much different than cow's milk, right? So every animal has a specialized milk from their mom, but they're not drinking that anymore and they're going more on their own. <clears throat> Summer is a time for skunks to feast. On just one night, a young skunk might eat a spider, two crickets, five beetle grubs, 13 wild blueberries and 18 larvae from a bumblebee nest. The young skunks grow bigger and bigger. They roam farther from their mother. They lead risky lives. Simply crossing a road can be very dangerous. And young skunks are sometimes hunted by great horned owls. So there's skunk near the house. There's a road nearby. And we know that sometimes they do get hit on roads. So there's a lot of danger out there while they're hunting around for their food. And sometimes animals don't understand our cars. And great horned owls are one of the only things that will hunt them because great horned owls don't have a sense of smell. As summer slips into autumn, all of the skunks eat a lot. They store fat in their bodies that will help them get through winter when food is scarce. In their winter dens, they will be dormant, sleeping most of the time, not hibernating, but sleeping a lot. On a chilly autumn night, the mother skunk meets one of her young. They sniff one another's faces in greeting. Perhaps they both remember springtime when the young skunk was just a kid. 
It nursed, snuggled in its mother's fur, and smelled her wonderful musky scent. And then at the end, there's some great information here in this book about skunks and their natural history. I love books like this. And, I, and then the glossary has some key words that were throughout the book, so it's really cool. So this is a really good book to check out and learn more about skunks, The Secret Life of the Skunk. And I think they also produce some other books about other animals. And you can get this at your local library. You can see I got, I borrowed it from the New Carlisle Library. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope you can get out and enjoy the weather um, before the snow comes this evening or enjoy the snow after it comes. And then um, hopefully spring will come and stay soon. All right, until next time, bye-bye.